We're here with Majid Abraham of uh, Comscore to talk about the, a series of things that are going on in the internet right now which have an impact on traditional media, complex series of thoughts, starting with the imp growing importance of a small number of sites in terms of advertising. The top sites account for how much? Well, uh, very interesting. The, if you just took a look at uh, Facebook and MySpace, in the United States, they account for about 20% of the advertising impressions on the internet. That's more than, you know, you, you think of the leaders as the portals and Yahoo, MSN, AOL, et cetera. You probably can take the top 20 sites outside of those sites, and uh, those two sites will actually uh, overdo uh, them in terms of advertising impressions. Okay, so wildly dominant. It's not traditional media sites that are up there. Right. Uh, then, uh, in terms of the long tail, you were saying the long tail is dead? I wouldn't say the long, the long tail is dead. It's, uh, what we see is that the long tail is losing share of time over time. Uh, people have always thought about the long tail as really growing. And uh, if, uh, when you actually look at the data, you see that it's, uh, it's uh, actually declining. Now, the reverse of that is that you can also think of Facebook, MySpace, YouTube as being an aggregation of the long tail. Uh, because essentially a lot of content uh, is being, a lot of content from very small uh, users or communities is being actually uh, shown and viewed in, in those, uh, on those particular sites. So I think if you think of those as aggregation of the long tail, then obviously the long tail is alive and well, but uh, it has now basically been concentrated into a handful of sites. Okay, uh, that are so the long tail is being crunched into a handful of sites who control all of the advertising market, which has an impact on traditional media because... Well, you know, with, with the level of inventory and the level of in, engagement that those sites have... Um, it those is sites really, meaning, meaning Facebook, Facebook and... MySpace. Uh, Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, etc. Uh, the time that people uh, is spending, uh, are spending, is squeezing everybody else. Uh, so it is squeezing uh, the portals. And more importantly, it is squeezing actually some of the... Uh, uh, traditional uh, media companies that come just below the portals. So, uh, you know, news sites or uh, finance sites, etc. Their share of time is actually declining. Their uh, time itself is maybe flat, but their share of time is declining. And their share of page views is declining. And so as a result, uh, their, their pool of available advertising compared to uh, the new space or the new inventory that the new guys are introducing is shrinking. So in other words, if a media company was preparing to b build in some more of this uh, social media functionality, it might offer, they might be preparing themselves for the wrong world or something. Um, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, very, it's very difficult to challenge the, the established, uh, established players now. I think on the other hand, those established players have, uh, particularly Facebook, are moving towards being a platform. So to the extent that you can leverage that uh, and you can benefit from the aggregated audience and the engagement that those guys can bring, that could be a strategy for, uh, for you to pursue as a media company. But tough times ahead no matter what. Tough times ahead no matter what. I mean, I think that uh, if you think about the traditional media companies, they are being squeezed in terms of share of time, share of engagement by these sites. Uh, they are also being squeezed on the advertising revenue end uh, by, uh, first of all, the plethora of inventory uh, on the social sites and, uh, uh, and advertising networks that are aggregating uh, much smaller sites uh, or, in fact, a lot of uh, inventory from those kinds of sites, uh, from the, the, the New York Times type of sites. Uh, and, um, you know, as a result, uh, we, we see uh, the pricing uh, collapses and that puts a lot of pressure on the ability of those sites uh, to be able to monetize and prosper online. So they're losing time, advertising, and audience, and they better figure a way forward quickly. That's right. Thank you.